Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, and I'm glad you're here today. As you can see, I am bumming out today. I don't have makeup on, I've got my hair back, and I've got on workout clothes because today is gonna be a hot one in upstate New York, and I wanted to get out early because I wanted to go to a couple of garage sales and then possibly go to a thrift store before it gets too hot. It's already 78 degrees. We gotta get out now. So let's go, let's go and enjoy the day and see what we can find. Get a nice deal. It's finally garage sale season in upstate New York and I'm really excited. So I got up early and I said, you know what? Let's go hit the garage sales. The first one that I went to was the one that seemed the most promising. I went onto Facebook Marketplace and this one seemed to have a lot of items and a lot of clothing. So I was really excited to go to this one in particular. This was the very first one I went to. When I started looking at the clothes, I noticed that a lot of them were not anything special. So I kind of went through the jeans looking for some Levi's or some Wranglers maybe, and then the shirts sweaters, anything. I was just looking for something vintage or something modern that was really good. And they were just basically run of the mill clothing. So I kind of missed out on this one. It, it just didn't come together for me as much as I wanted to. I had higher hopes and higher expectations. But you know what? That's what you get with garage sales. You got to go out to them and see what is out there being offered. You never know. There might be something really good. On the two tables, everything was four for a dollar. So I kept going back to the tables trying to find something. I wanted to find four items so I could spend a dollar. And I just didn't find much at all here at this garage sale. I did walk away with a couple things and I'll show you them in just a couple of minutes. However, I just didn't walk away with a bunch like I had hoped. This is where I got a little bit excited. You know me and my infatuation with jackets. I decided I didn't need them, even though I came across the leather jackets that were marked for only $5 a piece. Okay, so from the first garage sale, this is what I got. I got some brand new Pacific Surf uh, swim trunks. They look great. Nobody's worn them ever and my son has just started a Mercari account, so I'm gonna give them to him so he can sell them. And then I got a loft, or excuse me, limited jacket. And what I liked about that is, look at those shoulders. Those are so cute. Just a little blazer, size large, but limited. Got this for a dollar and I got the shorts for 50 cents. Garage sale number two was one that I just came across close to my neighborhood. And I realized that a lot of it was going to be furniture and household items. But you know what? I figured I'd go and check it out anyways. What is that? Closet. You're hanging your pants on it. Oh, interesting. Okay. You're hanging your pants on it. Interesting. Huh. This actually turned out to be kind of like a garage sale, estate sale. 
the lady of the house had moved out and it looks like this was her son trying to sell off some of the items. I overheard him saying that in a couple of weeks he's going to have more items. So I took some time to chat him up and I asked him if he had any clothing because that was what I was really looking for. And he said no, he didn't have any that the lady of the house had left with all her clothing and the rest they donated to a church. I really thought this hanger organizer thing was pretty good and I almost bought it. I've actually seen the commercial for that and I've been wanting to get one, but I know my closet's packed as it is and it has two rows, so it wouldn't work for me. And then I also thought about picking up these uh, brass bowls. I should have, they were $3 for the whole lot and I don't know why I didn't pick them up. I was also attracted to this 1980s lamp. The only thing was the color. I did not like that Pepto-Bismol pink. This was a packed garage sale. However, I didn't see many clothing. Actually, I didn't see any clothing. <laughs> so I said, okay, let's just make a quick pass. You never know what you're gonna come across. I thought these pictures were pretty. Then I came across a pile of purses and I just didn't feel like the prices were right. She had, you know, four, three dollars on each purse and I didn't need any of them. So the price point just wasn't good for me. There was one bag that I kind of feel like I liked. It was this one and it was just a little clutch. I thought it was kind of cute, but again, I didn't need it. And then there was a duffel bag. I stopped and I looked at it. It's the Harajuku love bag. And, you know, it just reminded me of No Doubt and Gwen Stefani. And I kept picking up, moving it around, and something told me to get it. But when I saw $4, I said, ah, I don't know. I don't need it. Now I'm wishing I picked it up. <laughs> That's just how it goes. I wish I would have got it. On to garage sale number four, which was right next door. I love it when neighbors join together and hold their garage sales at the same time. It gives the buyer more options and it gives the neighborhood more action. It was great. Unfortunately, they didn't have any clothes either. They did have some pretty decor, and I thought this table was just beautiful with all these items on it. I decided to cut my losses on the garage sales and go over to my trusty Salvation Army. 
I went wrong here though. I went to a different department first. Usually I look at home goods. I decided to go into the intimates first. And I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck for this trip. You'll have to tell me at the end of this video. I was really looking for that sale item. I wanted the either 50% off tag or the $1.50 tag. And so as I'm looking at the items, I keep looking over to my left because that's where the sign tells me what colors are on sale. I got distracted by the jeans and I wanted to keep in mind that sale price point. I also had to keep in mind the fact that it was at the end of the week, so it was very picked over. I did not have much of a selection to look at when it came to sale price items today. I noticed a lot of yellow tickets on this day and it turns out those were all the new tickets so they had been busy putting out new product. Then I decided to go over and look at the dress section. Even though I was dressed comfortably and it would have been really easy to try on items, I wasn't in the mood to try on clothes. You know, it was almost probably 80 or 90 degrees by this time. And I was just wanting to kick back and relax and not put on any clothing. It was already hot enough as it is. So I just decided to glance and then if there was gonna be something really good that I would want to try on, that is when I was going to do it. I did come across this beautiful sweater dress. I mean, so unique. Look at that design on the top. Then I thought I'd show off some of the other dresses that I thought were really cute. You know how I always tell you to look at the sections that are off season. Sometimes you find the best items when it's not in season. And so I did force myself to go through the sweaters, although it was gonna have to be something really special for me to pick it up because of the 90 degree weather we were in. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and flip through the sweaters and I'm really attracted to beige and brown right now. So I focused on that section of the sweaters and I just thought, you know what, let's just flip through and see what we can find.
then I went over to the purse section and somebody had donated a really nice collection of purses. And the only thing is they were all full price. It looked as if they had all just gone out onto the floor. But they were really unique. Look at that one. And this one too. You could tell it was one person who donated, right? I almost bought this. I actually even picked it up and put it in my cart. And I looked at how much it was going for online. I, in the end, put it back. Then I decided to go over to the Home Goods and just do a quick pass and take a look at this section just in case. You never know. Oh, I thought that this tea set was so cute, although I didn't need it, but look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Somebody donated their whole collection of shot glasses. Look at that. And then this was kind of unique. These were Lennox Christmas tree ornaments from 2000. And I remember when I was a kid, we used to have this fondue pot. I used to love fondue. I still do. Okay, so for me this week, I'm not very inspired to buy myself anything just yet. So I'm going to get this. I'd be crazy if I didn't get it and put it on my Poshmark uh, closet because it is $1.50 for a beautiful top and jacket. Then this bra for outdoor wilderness, I believe it's called. And then this bra, which I don't know what it's called, but it's I looked it up and it's actually a really nice brand. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. And then this one as well. So they'll all go up in my Poshmark closet, but I haven't found anything for myself. It's how it goes sometimes. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I decided to call it a day. I went and got an ice cream and I'm gonna enjoy this weather. I'm gonna enjoy kicking back and enjoy the hot weather because it's been too cold up here in upstate New York. So I know I only have a little haul that I showed you. So just let me know what you liked. If you didn't like anything, I understand. Leave me a comment. Just give me some love. I truly appreciate you tuning in every week. And today was just a day I needed to cut it short and live life. I'm going to do that. I'll see you next week. I love you so much. Bye.